hi everyone this is question 9 from tutorial sheet 1 yeah so please make sure that you click on the button which says subscribe yeah so that you don't miss out the videos that i'm going to be posting so let's quickly start solving question 9 i know most people want to know how to solve this question it's simple and straightforward yeah and then okay yeah let's proceed so the question is telling us to say the operation is ta sorry the operation star on the set of real numbers r is defined by a star b which is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2 where a and b are members of r um, are members of real numbers so the, the first question is telling us to say is star a binary operation on the set of real numbers here the, the other way you can ask yourself a question if you've been asked that question is that is there a way that we can use a real number to replace them where there is either A or B and find that the answer becomes undefined? If there is no way in which we can make this uh, given expression undefined, then star is a binary operation on a set of real numbers. So here, when you look at this expression, no matter how, no matter what kind of a number that you can replace on a, or on a squared or on b squared, it's not possible for you to make this expression undefined. Hence, star is a binary operation on the set of real numbers. So how do you conclude this, or how do you answer this? You just say, star is a binary operation on a set of real numbers. If they have said, uh, explain your answer, how do you explain it? You just say, uh, since uh, there is no way in which we can make this expression undefined, hence star is a binary operation on the set of all real numbers or since there is no real number that we can replace in this expression that can make our operation undefined therefore star is a binary operation on the set of all real numbers all right let's quickly move on to the second question so the second question is saying determine whether star is commutative so what are, what is our star here we have a star b this is our operation a star b is equal to uh, a squared plus uh, b squared let me just write them properly so a squared plus b squared or oh, there is also a minus to this side so for commutative, we know to say for uh, for commutative, uh, a a star b should be equal to b star a. So the definition of commutative is just the changing of the arrangement of uh, the given inputs. Once you change the arrangement the arrangements of the given inputs and then you get the same answer just not to say that uh, given operation is commutative and then if you don't change the uh, i mean if you change the arrangements and then you discover that the answers are not equal just know that that given operation is not commutative so now let us test this one to see if we're going to have uh, uh, if you're going to have this operation commutative or not commutative so let us begin so a star b has already been given to be this so our a star b is uh, a squared so we're going to use letters if you want you can use numbers there's no problem you can get you can get two numbers you use them there's no problem so a star b is equal to a squared plus b squared minus two and then this is equal to what is our b star a our b star a simply implies that where there is a in this expression we put b where there is b we put a so let us try to do that where there is a we put b so it's going to be b squared plus where there is b we put a it's going to be a squared then minus 2 so here is just a matter of arranging i mean rearranging the the variables there so 
so it's just a matter of rearranging the variables so when you rearrange the variables here it will still come back to our first expression yes so if you get the same answers on both uh, sides just know to say star is commutative so you conclude to say star is you say hence i just have no space this side i would have written my hands properly so hence uh, star is commutative hence star is commutative yes so because we have gotten the same answers on both uh, sides then star is commutative let us now quickly move on to the third question here which says determine whether star is associative determine whether star is associative how can we uh, find this so first of all you need to introduce another third letter which we are going to see which we are going to call c if you want you can put z but since we are using a b let us use c so for this uh, for us to determine whether star is associative or not, we need to do what? We need to say uh, a, a star B star C. So I don't know if we should use letters or we get numbers. But since in, the, in this one we used letters, I think we can also use numbers. Yeah, so A star B star C is equal to uh, A star B star. So here we don't use the arrange, we don't change the arrangement, but we just change the brackets. So if we start with this, meaning the, in the next uh, uh, solution, we're going to start with that. So now what we're going to do is let us uh, use numbers I think. Let us use numbers. So how do we use numbers? In this question we used letters but even on this one you can use uh, letters but numbers are not reliable. Sometimes they can give you a wrong uh, conclusion. So don't rely on numbers. You practice very much on using letters. Now let us use numbers. So on numbers I'm going to say let let's take for instance my I'll take my a to be 1 and I'll take my b to be 2 and I'll take my c to be 3. You can get any numbers, any numbers as long as they are in this set which you've been given there. So 1 2 3 are in the sets of real numbers. So these are the numbers that I'll get. I'll also put my 1 there. I'll put my 2 there. And I'll put my 3 there. So here we start with 1, uh, we start with, uh, one star 2. 1 star 2, it means that while there's A and B, we put 1 and 2 respectively. So we start first by saying I'll use this kind of bracket. This is going to be 1 squared plus 2 squared and then minus 2. Then we do that. So when you're replacing, it's advisable to put this in brackets. Yeah, okay. And then we say we put that star 3 outside there, this one. Same applies to this other part. We say, so here we're going to start with 1 and then we say star. Remember here what we're following is bottom as we start with working out whatever that is in the brackets. So here we use this kind of bracket. Okay. 
we use this kind of bracket which says uh, so meaning we're going to start first where this a we put two so we're going to put two there and then we square this a and then plus where this b we put three we square this and then say minus two one we, we want just to test whether this will give us the same answers so when we simplify what is in the brackets here one squared is one two squared is four one plus four will give us five yeah so one squared is one plus four will give us five five minus two we're getting three so he this side we're going to have three star three being equal to one star so this one here we're going to have two squared is four plus nine we get 13 minus two we get 11 so one star 11 two squared four plus nine yeah four plus nine is 13 13 minus two we get uh 11 so yeah that's it so here again we replace this star uh, three star three in this uh expression and this one star 11 in that expression so we start so we're going to have three squared uh you put it in those brackets and then plus another three squared so numbers are not reliable it's better you use letters but if if you want you can use numbers yeah there's no problem but numbers you might sometimes get the question wrong but use letters you saw the way i used these letters where you just interchange the letters and everything yeah so uh three star three this is what we're going to get and then this side we're going to have one squared then plus 11 squared so it's better you continue using letters and then when you get used to letters because for me i already know the answers because i know how to use letters using letters i've already found the answers but uh since i'm showing you this and most of you maybe might have been new to this so it's better use the simplest method which is the the using of numbers yeah so that you see what I'm talking about. If I use letters, it would have confused you. So at least maybe when I use numbers, you see what I'm talking about. And then when you use letters on your own time, you are going to relate the two solutions. So here is going to be 9 plus 9, which gives us 18 minus 2. We are getting 16 this side. And then let us see what we are getting this side. So 11 times 11 is 121. 121 uh 121 plus 1 is going to be 122 minus 2 we're getting 120. so now since 16 is not equal to 120 then we conclude to say this is not associative not associative So this is not associative. All right. So that is not associative. Yeah. So since uh, if we had gotten the same answers, this side maybe sixteen, even this side another sixteen would, would have say would have concluded to say it's associative. But since we've gotten different answers, then it's not associative. That's what we. Uh, that is how you answer such a question and then um, so you say a star is not associative yes so now the yeah so now you can try to practice on your own then uh, find uh, I mean use letters you can use letters yeah you can use letters to solve it and then if you use letters you can send it to this line i'm writing here on whatsapp then i'll tell you whether your answer is wrong or correct ok 
okay this one here 0960108064 this is the line i'm using on whatsapp so you can send it to this line and i'll tell you whether your answer is correct or wrong or your procedure is correct or wrong so let us quickly move on to the last question which is this one so since you have seen how i've how simplified this one using numbers meaning this one is even more simple it's even it, it even makes our work easier okay so 3 star 2 star 5 3 star 2 star 5 and then we've been told that we start with 3 and 2 so where there's a we put 3 okay squared and then where there's b we put 2 squared then minus 2 and then we also have star 5 in the bracket i mean star 5 outside like that so this is giving us 9 plus 4 we get 13 minus 2 13 minus 2 we're getting 11 is it it yeah so 13 minus 2 we're getting 11 and then we have our star 5 outside so 11 star 5 here we're getting 11 we start with 11 first as our a squared and then plus our b is now 5 okay squared minus 2 so this is now giving us okay let me just write this properly yeah so this is now giving us 121 plus 25 and then minus 2 so when we add 121 plus 25 we are having 121 plus 25 gives us 146 and then minus 2 our final answer is 144 so this is our final solution so our three so our three is done okay three is done two is done uh, five this is the solution for that okay this is a star here so our star three, I mean, I mean our three star two star five is equal to one forty four. So thank you very much for watching today's uh, tutorial video. Uh, make sure that you don't forget to subscribe and uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel and visit the the, the what the, visit the channel on any time you feel like. Any time you are solving mathematics, you are stranded. You don't ha you don't know what to do. You can uh, go on the channel on each and every video. There's an email address which I've attached to it, and then there's also a WhatsApp line which is attached to every video. Yeah, so you can uh, ask a question uh, based on that uh, tutorial video that I've uh, that, that I've um, answered, and I'll respond to you either on email or on WhatsApp. I'll be there to respond to you. So thank you very much for watching. Shalom, shalom.